All right, Sterling, thanks. New at 10 tonight after months of politics and voting. We're one week away from patients getting a medical cannabis card. However, that doesn't mean that you can just walk into a pharmacy next week and get your medicine. Jim Spiewak found out there are still hurdles to overcome. Jim? Yeah, well, you know, lawmakers have been working and tweaking on this law since it was passed by the voters a long, long time ago now. And I spoke to several patients who are concerned there's just not going to be enough product to go around. And consider this. Once this is all said and done, there's expected to be 14 pharmacies up and running, but there's only two scheduled to open in March. We hope that they're ready to go. Um, you know, everybody's kind of been getting ready for this big day. March 1st, 2020. It'll be an important date in Utah history. It's a big day. Uh one that I, I frankly didn't think that we would see now. On Sunday, the state will begin taking patient applications for medical marijuana cards. Justin Areola is an advocate who has seen other states launch their programs. There's always product shortages. Anytime the, the program kicks off, it's very quickly product shortages. In our state, that will be even more so. Justin says that's because some growers had trouble getting through permitting and construction delays. Like I'm hopeful, but I'm also realistic that it's probably going to be a while before patients get medicine here in Utah. The Utah Department of Health is scheduled to inspect one pharmacy this week. If it passes, it will open next week to the first round of approved card holders. Once people have cards and start going, that's going to be exacerbated by the fact that there's still cultivators who are struggling to provide product. Card approval for patients with a qualifying condition can take up to 15 days. And as I mentioned, I spoke with several patients throughout the course of the night, and some of them told me they're still a little concerned and confused about exactly how to apply for a card. So I've put some resources on exactly how to do that step-by-step -step over at our website, KUTV.com. And also, the state is tracking right now. They know of 17 approved providers that are still taking on new patients. I've also posted their information on our website as well. Guys, back to you. All right, Jim, thank you.